Is there one God? Yep, one God. Is there one mediator? That's Christ, yep. Jesus Christ is the one God, the one mediator. Mm, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He mediates between us and the Father. So is, is Jesus not God? He is God, but he's not the most high God. We're going to differ there. You believe because, in the Trinity. You're a Christian. No, I don't. It's not that I believe in the Trinity. You believe in the Trinity. I don't, it's not that I believe in the Trinity. You believe in one being, many different forms, right? No. What I believe. So how is Jesus Christ the same as the Most High God? Because Jesus, the man, was born, and he was very God. He From, was God, or he was a man. He was very God and very man. With him. He was there with himself. He was with himself. So wow. So. Jesus is a schizophrenic? No, he's not a schizophrenic, but Jesus is God because in the last day it says that every knee is going to bow and every tongue is so going to confess. So when Jesus was on the earth, who was he praying to? Who was he praying? He was praying to the Father, which is God. But once again, you got to remember, he was in the flesh. He was giving us an example. So is Christ the same as the Father? Is Christ? Is Jesus Christ? No. The same Christ. as God the Father. Christ is the one that died. Okay. Jesus is the name that we call to be saved. Mm -hmm. Now we can call him Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ, Jesus the Son of God, but we're still calling him Jesus. Is the Son of God the same as the Father of the Son? Yes. You're wrong. Yes. You're wrong. No. You can't show me that in the Bible. I can okay. show you the opposite. Because in the Bible. Jesus says in the end, he says, if you've seen me, yes, sir. is this not right? I see the brother here with the camera. Did Jesus not say, if you've seen me, you've also seen the Father? Right. He if, says, me and the Father if you look are... At my, if you look at my son, he said, uh-uh. You see my father? You see his father too? No, no, no. Because he, he looked just like... You see two He looked just people. like... No, no, He no, said, no. me and my no, father no, are one. Right you he die. didn't say that they were separate. He said, me and my father Verse are 56. one. All right, so check this out. So there's there's not three gods in heaven reigning. Check this out. There's only one. Just one. All right, so, so tell me what Stephen saw right here. See if you can explain that. Go ahead, brother. The book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 56. Uh -huh. And said, behold, I see the heavens open. So Stephen saw the heavens open. Amen. And the Son of God. And the Son of God. Standing uh -huh. on the right hand of God. Uh-huh. Who was he standing next to? Who was who standing next to you? <laughs> you confounded. No, I'm He's not. Confounded. No, no, I'm not. I'm Got not him. confounded. I'm not confounded. Got you. This, I'm the, not confounded. We're going to let the Bible be true and every man alive. <laughs> Check this out. This is about the brother that says that he's God. You got what I want? Give me, give me verse, uh, let's go to verse 33. The book of John, chapter 10 and verse 33. Uh -huh. The Jews answered him saying, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou, excuse me, and because that thou, being a man, so Christ is a man, makest thyself God. Christ made himself God is what he was accused of. Let's keep reading. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? Is it not written in your law? Uh -huh. I said, ye are gods. Isn't that what the Bible says about Small the G. Israelite men? Small g. You said God, you didn't specify which one. But Big he, G, little but g. But he was saying to them, what? because they knew the scriptures but and they mean? knew the law, he was saying to them, God said, or well, you, you just mean, said you had an issue with a man calling himself God, but the Bible calls Israelite men gods. That's what it does. Little G. All, he, all of us. No, the Bible's talking about Israelites. All of us. Not all of us. Israelites. Read on. Verse 35. If he called them gods. If, who called them gods? If he. God called the Israelite men gods. Okay. Read on. Called them gods unto whom the word of God came. Who did the word of God come to? Everyone. Hold that, Psalms 147. Are you not reading the word of God right now? We're reading the word of God. But the, the word of God tells us who the word of God was given to. So, so if I don't claim to be an Israelite. The word of God was not given to. Wait a minute, if, if I don't claim to be an Israelite. The word of God is, was not Is not, not the to. word of God for me as well? No, the word of God was only given to Israel. He showed so, this word so, to Jacob. So, so wait a minute. So, so, so let's 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 uh, hold on. We're gonna we let the Bible about, speak. We, we the book of Psalms, uh -huh. chapter one forty-seven and verse nineteen. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. That's what God said. He showed his word to Jacob. Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He only showed his statutes and judgments to Jacob. In Israel, read on. Okay. He hath not, he what? Hath not dealt so with any nation. It's as plain as can be. The Bible says what it says. You just believe what you were taught. No. 
You believe what you were taught, not what the Bible says. I believe what the Holy the Spirit Bible has provided says, me. You don't with believe in, in the Holy Spirit. Yes, no, I do. No, no, you you don't have the Holy Spirit, I, and you wouldn't believe the Holy Spirit if we showed it to you. I believe the Holy Spirit. You don't believe the Holy Spirit. I trust. Trust me, I believe the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna show you that you don't believe the Holy Spirit. All right, what's today? Today is the what? Today is what day? According to God. Say again. What is today according to God? Today's Saturday. Well, God wouldn't call it Saturday because that's the worship of Saturday. So what would God call it? Oh, you're saying in regards to the Sabbath day. What day is it? Is it the first day of the week? The seventh day of the week? I would say it's the last day of the week. And God calls the last day of the week the Sabbath, Sabbath. day, right? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Acts chapter 7. Let's talk about the Holy Ghost. The book of Acts chapter 7 and verse 51. Uh -huh. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. So in Acts chapter 7, when, when Stephen said that you always resist the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. what were those people resisting? The truth. What's the truth? We never really got back to that. We gotta show them that. Hold that, Psalm 1. Hold that. Psalm 119, 142. I told you That's where we started. Was. The truth, no, was, the truth is, is there's one God, one God, one mediator, one mediator which is Jesus Christ. Which is Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay. All right. This is what the truth is according to the Bible. The okay. book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Yes, brother. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law. Thy what? Thy law is the truth. I agree. What's the truth? The Bible. The law. The whole Bible is the law. Okay, good. God's law is the truth. All right, so we gotta agree there. All right, so now let's go back to Acts chapter seven. So did the Israelites, did we keep God's laws or did we break God's laws? If you break one, you break them all. It was just a yes or no question. But we broke them. Well, we correct, them. we broke them. We broke them? Okay, all right. So let's read verse 51 again. Acts chapter seven and verse 51. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised and hardened ears, uh -huh. ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. So the Israelites broke God's commandments. So what were they resisting? What's the Holy Ghost that they were resisting? What was the Holy Ghost that they were resisting? Yeah, it said that they were stiff-necked because they resisted the Holy Ghost. So what did they resist? They resisted God's presence, indwelling of them. Jump down to verse 53. Verse 53! Who have received the law? They received the law by a dispensation of angels uh -huh. Uh -huh. and have not kept it. They resisted the Holy Ghost, Correct. which was the what? The word, the law. The laws of God. You don't have the Holy Ghost. You're not keeping the laws of God. I'm not an Israelite. What are you? <laughs> I'm not an Israelite, though. Okay. I'm a Gentile. Meaning what? I've been grafted in. Which Gentiles were grafted in? We can go back <laughs> to Rahab the harlot back in Jericho. It didn't say in, in, in Joshua, it didn't say Rahab was grafted in. The terms grafted in that you find about in the book of Romans in the New Testament. So in the New Testament, who are the Gentiles? Everyone who is not a Jew. You gotta be more specific. Well, let's see. You had the Philistines who were to the North and east of them, you had. You don't read about the Philistines in the New Testament being called Gentiles. You, you hear, you have the Amorites, you have the Parasites, you had all these different folks that were surrounding Israel just like they are today, and they were considered as Gentiles. The Samaritans, which were their cousins, because they had married outside of their race. Mm, the Samaritans were what? They were Jews. Mm, they were Israelites. That. You want to use the term Israelite? Because Jews just, how you doing, brother? I, I understand the word. Okay. Um, the, the Israel, they were Israelites who when in captivity. They married those who were Gentiles. And therefore, uh, I think it's also in the book of Ezra, you had those who were uh, priests that married. And he told them, he says, are you going to forsake your wife, leave your wife, because you are an Israelite? He says, oh, brother, let me get you a flyer real quick. I got a flyer for you. He says, he says, uh, if, no problem, uh, you know what we teach him? So-called blacks, Hispanics, natives, we're the Israelites, we're the real Jews. We got to return back to God and keep his commandments. All praise him. Give us a call, my brother. So he, he said to them then, he says, if you won't come back into the fold and be priests because you've technically defiled yourself, he said then, you know, you're still part of the family. You just can't be in this particular office. And some stayed and some divorced their wives and came back. Uh, 
I have one for you, brother. Though I want you to look at, it, and then I'm gonna I'm let you go so my my milk don't spoil. But I I, I like uh, what you, I like what you're doing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't look, do that. Give, give me um revelation. Well, no, we got to deal with the grafting in real quick. But, but this is a grafting in part. Uh, look, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna pull it out. We're going to pull it out. This is grafting in, brother. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to do it in about 30 seconds. You going to do it? Give, give, me, uh, give me Matthew as, 4. As long as you give me Revelation chapter I'm, 7. As soon as I finish these, we're going to go to Revelation chapter okay. 7. I already know verse 9 out of every nation on earth. Deuteronomy 28, 64, 32, 26. The Israelites are scattered to every nation. All right. So we're going to come right back there. Matthew chapter 4. The book of Matthew, uh -huh. chapter 4, and verse 15. Uh -huh. The land of Zebulon. Who was Zebulon? One of the 12 tribes. 12, of, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 tribes of Israel. And the land of Naphtali. Naphtali was one of the tribe. One of the 12 tribes of Israel. From which kingdom? Northern kingdom or southern kingdom? It, it, it skips me right now, but he was. Northern kingdom. But he was still in no, the family. Northern kingdom. Correct. Uh -huh. In the family by blood. Correct. But they were northern king. They were northern, northern and southern divide, kingdom. Right? When Christ, Solomon. Correct. When Christ was walking on the earth, who was in Jerusalem at the time? Three tribes. Well, you know where Christ came from, right? Well, he's from the Judah, of right? You know who the priests were, the Levites. Levites, and then the little brother always stuck with him. Judah, Benjamin, and dang, I gave it to you. Benjamin, all right. <laughs> so these people were referred to as the Jews. The southern kingdom are the ones that were referred to as the Jews. So Jew and Israelite hasn't always been synonymous. Back then, Jew, southern kingdom, the northern kingdom were referred to as by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, uh -huh. Galilee, Galilee, all the Gentiles. Who were the Gentiles? Sit, sit again, brother. Read the whole verse. The land of Zebulun. Zebulun. And the land of Naphtali. Naphtali, part of the, the northern kingdom of Israel. Uh -huh. By the way of the sea, uh -huh. beyond Jordan. Beyond Jordan, meaning scattered abroad. Galilee, all the Gentiles. The northern kingdom was referred to as what, my brother? You're saying that they were referred no, to No, 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 the Bible. I didn't say I, anything. I, I got you. The Bible said saying, that they were what? The Gentiles. They are the Gentiles that we're talking about. Okay. Now, look, I don't know if you've ever studied, have you, have you ever been a gardener before or anything like that? Mm -hmm. You have? Do you know what it means to graft something in? Mm -hmm. How, what's the process of grafting in a tree? How do you graft a tree? So you got two, two trees. Cut one, cut the other, put it in the middle, wrap it around, bind it, seal it. So the two will grow together. Okay. Fertil fertilize, all that good stuff. Okay. Okay. Would you graft two different trees? Would you graft an orange tree into an apple tree? Folks have tried, but technically you wouldn't. Mm. But you can graft whoa, whoa, whoa. apple trees into apple trees and orange trees into okay. orange trees. Okay. So, so you got some level of understanding. Uh -huh. So since the northern kingdom was called Gentiles, uh -huh. right? Would have been grafted into the tree? Would it have been the 15 other variations of fruits or would it have been the same fruit? The same tree? If we're speaking of that scripture there, he's speaking of them there bringing them in. It's talking about the northern kingdom northern. coming back Cause, cause, to join he, the southern because kingdom. Because he was wanting to join all Israel together. Correct. That because was the prophecy. That was the prophecy. It was, yeah. look, listen, listen. But, I, I, what, I, what was it? What, you, you good, you good. There was never a prophecy where all the nations would be joined together as one nation. The prophecy, like when you read it. supposed to be all one nation anyway. No, 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 no. Think, think about it. At the Tower of Babel, uh -huh. what happened? All the nations came together to be one and, and spoke he, one language. Said, one language, uh-huh. When God looked down on it, was he happy with that or was he displeased with that? I would say he was happy that we were all congregated mm, together. No. But the scripture says that he was unhappy because they were trying to build a temple up to him. That's not to, what they were to, doing. To, to get even higher and overthrow him. That's not what was going on. That's Christian mythology. Well, I don't know about that Christian the, mythology look, part. The flood just happened, right? right? Everybody died. Everybody heard about it. They wanted to build something real tall, so if another one happened, they couldn't they could save themselves. That's what was going on. Nobody's building up anything. You can't even breathe up there. But, but Nobody's God, building anything to go God, to the most high. I'm going by what God said. He right, said so, but look, we're going to reel it back in. We're going to reel it back in. The northern kingdom was right. divided from the southern kingdom. Correct. You got Ezekiel 37? Yes, this is the prophecy of what would happen between Judah, which is the southern kingdom, and Ephraim, yeah. the northern kingdom. Correct. Uh, yeah, give me 19 and then jump down. Go ahead, read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 19. Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, 
I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, uh -huh. and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah. So we got Ephraim and we got Judah, two different sticks. Uh -huh. But Ephraim and Judah both come from the same root. Correct. Amen. All right. Read on. And make them one stick. You see that? The one bring, stick. He was bringing the tribes back together. The tribes back together. Not all nations back together. That's Christian mythology. No, 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 no. That's I, Christian mythology. I, I, I That's what say, I'm calling it. I wouldn't say it's Christian mythology. Look, it's Christian mythology because it's not in the Bible. Right. When Paul is referencing the grafting in, uh -huh. he's taking the prophecies from Jeremiah and Ezekiel, and he's using those prophecies to give you understanding that the northern kingdom can come back into the fold. What about the Ethiopian? The Ethiopian eunuch? Uh-huh. That was an Israelite. How so? I got you. I got you. Did, did we finish that verse? Yes, sir. Finish the verse. I, I, and I, they I, shall I, be I, one in mine hand. Amen. And the sticks wherein thou writest shall be in thine hand. Right. And you understand the gardening. You don't take an orange tree and graft it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other the Philistines will be the orange tree. Right? The the Eomites would be the pear tree. The Jebusites would be a fig tree trying to grab those into an apple tree. But the 12 all, but, tribes of but, Israel. But weren't, all, but weren't all they cousins? No, 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 no. Not if, according to God. He made 18 nations. If we go back from. Listen, listen, before listen. Before Jacob, when you had Israel right, right, right. and you had Isaac, would they not be cousins? God made 18 nations. He made them their own nation. I got you. So, uh, I, I mean, the, but, but it's, saying, it's like semantics. It's, but, it's semantics. It's semantics, but wouldn't they be cousins? But, but no, listen, God's not dealing with semantics. Because God says Israel is their own family. He, so, se he separated one so he could do his thing. In right. regards to Isaac, he so So no, they're not cousins. No, they're not cousins. They wouldn't be? No. Was they're a Ish completely different was, family. Was not Ishmael and Isaac brothers? Look, you're dealing with semantics. Let, let's make sure we finish in the point here. All right, we finished with Ezekiel. All right, what, what you got? Verse 21, uh -huh. and say unto them, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. See, the children of Israel were among the heathen, uh -huh. and they will be taken from among the heathen. Uh -huh. But you want to include the heathen. So is the heathen not going to be saved? No, the salvation is for the Israelites. So, so That's what the Bible says. So heathens aren't going to be saved. If you're not in the nation of Israel, there is no salvation for you. Matthew 1 and 21, the angel said to Mary, what? That he would save who from their sins? He would save his, his people. Well, who was his people? You just said out of your own mouth, Jesus Christ was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Correct. That's its own family. His people are the Israelites. Ezekiel 30, like you're fighting against what the Bible no, actually I'm says. Not fighting against what the, this is what the Bible says. I'm not fighting against what the Bible says. Matthew, Matthew 1 and 21. I'm, I'm, the book of Matthew, I'm, I'm chapter 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring forth we're a... Not, we're not interpreting it. We're reading it to you. It, God already said what it said, and it says the same thing over and over again. And you know, based so, on your own understanding, you can't graft a heathen tree with an Israelite tree. So once again... It's got to be an so, Israelite tree so, coming so, back so, to an Israelite tree. Can I ask the question? Yeah. If God was to part the sky right now, yeah. and according to the revelation, the... the, the the, the clouds are going to roll back as a scroll. Yeah. And he's going to rapture, as we say. The Bible doesn't say rapture. Well, it, it's, it, it doesn't say rapture, but that's the term. He's going to call everyone up. He's not calling everyone to, up. To, to be with him. That have accepted him as the Savior. Do, 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 we, do, do we agree so far? No, 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 no. No, I'm saying, so when Jesus comes back, and he calls all those home to believe in him, believe and trust in him. What if the heathen is one of those that believe and trust in him? It's not happening. It's not according to the Bible. So, so he's not he's not going to be called back to home. I'm gonna, let you, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you hear what the Bible says. So, wh 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 where is the? Let me know where the heathen's going. Where the heathen's going? Uh huh. Isaiah 14. And I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the heathen that has accepted God and accepted Jesus as their personal savior. They believe that Jesus was born the only, in a virgin listen, birth. He died on the cross and, and he, he rose again on the third. A, a virgin in, in the biblical sense is not what it is in the American sense. It was not a sexual term back then. A virgin is a young woman of maritable age, according to the Bible. 
Now you're in America. So, so, well, listen, listen. So Joseph Listen, listen, listen. Listen. Uh, wait, listen. So Joseph now in 2023, daddy. where homosexuality, fornication oh, wait, is running wait, rampant. Wait, 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 listen to me. Fornication runs rampant here. Uh -huh. Now virgin has become a term associated with sexuality or whether she had sex or not. Under the laws of God, when we were a nation of people, virgin was something associated with a young woman who wasn't married yet. It was, it was assumed the Bible that she said, hadn't married yet, the that she hadn't had sex yet. She, the, she said, how can I be with child and I have not known a man? No, you gotta misunderstand. No, that's what the Bible says. No, it says that there will be a performance. Uh -uh. The they Bible had sex. Joseph and Mary had sex. No, the Bible says, you're getting into too many different no, doctrines no, no, no. and then you're saying you gotta go because you no, got spoiled milk. But, but, but I'm asking, you said... I got you, we're gonna answer that. We're gonna you answer said that. that the heathen... We're gonna finish, we're gonna finish Romans Jesus 11. ...accepted Jesus Christ as the Savior. All right, that's 16. All right, check this out. Where is he going? We got you, Romans 11 and 16. Look at Romans, chapter 11 and verse 16. Uh -huh. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. Uh -huh. And if the root be holy, the root is Christ. So are the branches. The branches are the nation of Israel. And if some of the branches be broken off, the branches were broken off. Which branches were broken off? See, so we're not talking about a completely different tree. We're talking about branches of one tree that was broken off. You're talking about a completely different tree trying to bring in the heathen. That's not in the Bible. Now keep, hold on, stay right there. And thou, being a wild olive tree. So the nation of Israel is a wild olive tree. Now, because we're not keeping God's commandments, right? We're grafted in. Now the branches are gonna be grafted back in, right? Among them, uh -huh. and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Now the Bible's gonna tell us who the olive tree is talking about in the book of Jeremiah. Because you got to remember, Paul didn't say anything other than what was already said to him. Scripture. He didn't come with a new doctrine. Amen. He came to explain the prophecies of the prophets of old. Read on. I mean, uh, read uh, Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 11 and verse 16. The Lord called thy name a green olive tree. He called them a green olive tree. Fair and of goodly fruit, uh -huh. with the noise of a great tumult, uh -huh. he hath kindled fire upon it. Listen good. And the branches of it are broken. The branches of the Lord's tree are broken, and it's going to tell you who this tree is. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee. Uh -huh. For the evil of the house of Israel. So now it's telling you who that tree is that's being grafted back in. The house of Israel. And of the house of Judah. And the house of Judah. One nation of people. No heathen. Read. Which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger in offering incense unto Baal. Unto Baal. The northern kingdom was completely written off from being Israelites. Right? God cast them away, gave them a bill of divorce. Uh -huh. That's why when we're in the book of Romans, Paul is explaining it to you, saying that the promises, the adoption all pertain to the Israelites. That's what that's saying. So even when you're in the Romans 11 and 26, it's telling you that the all men, in the same chapter as the grafting in, it's telling you that it's Israel, 11 and 26 again. Yes, this is the book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 26. Uh -huh. And so all Israel, the same chapter that talks about the grafting in, says all Israel shall what? Shall be saved. Shall be saved. As it is written. As it is written, meaning that the Old Testament prophets said the same thing that Paul is saying right now. Read on. There shall come out of Zion. Out of Zion or the nation of Israel, what? The deliverer. Uh -huh. It shall turn away ungodliness. Who is Christ going to turn away ungodliness from? From Jacob. From Jacob. So there is no heathen that's going to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. It doesn't exist. Christ was sent to save his people from their sins and to turn ungodliness from Jacob. That's what the Bible says. So if I'm not an Israelite, I don't claim to be one. And I've accepted once again Jesus. You can't accept Christ if you're not an Israelite. Why not? Christ was, give me Matthew 15 and 24. Here read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said. This is Christ. This is Christ answering and said. I am not sent. Christ is only sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's it right there. Christ was only yeah, sent to the yeah, lost sheep yeah, of the house was, of Israel. Was, was he speaking to the woman who was asking? 
A fool? Yeah. She was saying that I am not of the lost. I'm, I'm of that lost tribe. I'm no, of the, she's not. She said, she's saying, I'm not of that house. She right. says, but even the dog, if we keep reading the scripture, she says, even the dog. Can Eat a crumb from the master's table. Is Which, A crumb is not salvation. Being at the table is salvation. Wait a minute. No, no. So you telling me, uh, listen, listen to your logic. Listen to your logic. Uh -huh. We're going to read up a little bit. Start at verse 21. Yes, sir. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidon. Uh -huh. And behold, a woman of Canaan. A woman of Canaan. Now, the Canaanites did not live there anymore. The Romans ruled during this time, uh -huh. and the Greeks ruled before them. They conquered these territories. Uh -huh. When you read in another gospel account, it says a Syrophoenician woman. This was a Greek woman. This woman would have looked like those people over there. Read. Came out of the same coast uh -huh. and cried unto him, saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Uh -huh. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. Read on. But he answered her, not a word. What did Christ do? But he answered her, not a word. Christ ignored this heathen that you so desperately want to save. Okay, keep going. Read on. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away, for she crieth after us. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ made it real plain. Keep reading. Christ made it, no, Keep no, reading. we reading this. We're going to get to it. Uh -oh. We're going to get reading. to it. Christ made it real plain who he was sent for. Keep reading. Who was he sent for? Keep reading. Who was he sent for? Keep the reading. lost sheep of the house I, of Israel. I, I got that part. Keep you reading. ain't got that part because you should trying to save everybody. Uh -uh. Keep reading. Keep then reading. came she and worshiped him saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not me. It's not good to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. To cast it to who? Dogs. It's not good Keep to reading. take the meat and cast it to dogs. Keep read on. And she said, truth, Lord, uh -huh. yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. So in the kingdom of heaven, uh -uh. Keep reading. in the kingdom of heaven, Keep reading. all of the dogs are gonna eat from the master's table. Keep reading. None of the dogs will be saved. Keep reading. Neither will any of the songs, the dogs, enter into the kingdom of heaven. Keep reading. Read on. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Uh -huh. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. Uh -huh. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Her daughter was made whole. I'm right? Done right there. You're not done. You're not I'm, done. I'm done right there. Because Christ called her a dog. No. The term of her being a dog was not that four-legged dog that we look at running around here. Okay. What kind of dog is he it? He was saying to her, this right here was meant for Israel. However, he said when she came in and she began to worship him, didn't, didn't it say she worshiped him? Oh, yes or no? Cameraman? According to the scripture, did it say she worshiped him? So I'll take that as a yes because you're pointing at the Bible. It says that she worshiped him. And then he said, thy faith hath made thee whole. He says, go thy way. So then she was allowed in. The salvation and the blessing was allowed unto her because of her faith. It had nothing to do with right, so look, she was, where she was born, where she came from. It dealt so with you, her faith. You said, you said that he let her in. He didn't let her in. Neither is she going into the kingdom of heaven. So, so she, she's not going so into she, the kingdom of heaven. So, so according to what Jesus just said, just because Christ healed her daughter, uh huh. According to, look, as far as as far as you know, to her faith, you don't even know what nationality the daughter was. According to her faith, hold on, you don't know what whether nationality she, she was the daughter a, was. Whether she was an Israelite or not, he said, according to what you just said in the scriptures. Uh huh. What the scriptures so, said. So, if she was not, if she was a heathen, uh huh, it would mean that her daughter's a heathen. No, that's not the case. Why wouldn't it be? Numbers 1 and 18. Hold that. Don't forget what you want. Yes, sir. Why, why Look, wouldn't her daughter be a I'm going to let the Bible speak. Why wouldn't her daughter I'm be I'm going to let the Bible speak. Numbers chapter 1. So, so now you're going to tell me her, her husband was an Israelite. I don't know. The Bible doesn't say. Then we can't, then we can't add The Bible in. doesn't say. We're not going to add it in. Then we can't the add it in. The point that I made to you, you said, wait, wait, Christ wait. didn't do anything for the woman. He healed the daughter. And that's what the, that's what the mother's request was. That's fine. To heal my that's fine. daughter. But and look, you said, asked the question. And he said, you according to your faith, it had nothing to do with if she was an Israelite, if she was from the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe of Judah. He said, according to your faith. And we already know that Canaan 
was supposed to be destroyed. Everyone who was in the land of Canaan, Check this when out. the Israelites came over from Egypt, Check this out. everything was supposed to be destroyed. Check this out. She wasn't of Canaan. You said a Canaanite woman? No, the scriptures, I said, the Canaanites had long been gone from that area. During the time of the Romans, when Herod was ruling, uh -huh. Rome had that empire. That entire land was ruled by Rome, by white people. And before that, it was ruled by the Greeks, the exact same group of people. But you asked, well, the point that, that the Bible made is that he healed her daughter. Correct. He didn't do anything for her. What did he say to her? He said that you're a dog. But, but, her, but, look, her, but her request was that her listen, daughter be healed. Right. You don't know the nationality of that, of that daughter. Check this out. Neither do you. Yes, it's the no. book of Numbers, chapter one and verse eighteen. I know. I know something. I know that the nationality of the daughter had nothing to do with the mother. That's what I know. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, uh -huh. and they declared their pedigrees uh -huh. after their families. Your, your pedigree, which is your lineage, your family. Read on. By the house of their fathers. The house of their fathers. So as far as we know, that child could have been an Israelite. But you can't read that into that. I can't. I can't. But you know what you can't do either? You can't read into that story and say that that Canaanitish woman, that Syrophoenician woman, is receiving salvation. Because you're adding that in. No, I'm not. Because You're adding because that Jesus in. Said, Christ healed her daughter. Jesus said, Did Christ heal her or her daughter? Her request. Her request. Her request was, was for her, her daughter. or for her daughter? Her daughter. For her daughter. For her daughter. And what did we all agree that Christ referred to her as? A what? He said a dog. A dog. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Listen, this is the book of Revelations, uh -huh. chapter 22 and verse 14. Uh -huh. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So God says, blessed are they that do his commandments. Uh -huh. You got commandments you're still not keeping. If you want to be blessed, you got to keep the commandments. Read on. That they may have the right to the tree of life. If you want the right to eternal life, the tree of life, you got to have fringes on your clothes. Today's the Sabbath. You shouldn't be buying milk. Read on. And may enter through the gates of the city. So if you keep the commandments, then you can enter into the gates of the city. Uh -huh. It just explained the gates of the city one chapter prior, chapter 21, uh -huh. and it said that there's 12, 12 gates for the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Now it's going to tell you who's not getting it. Listen good. Listen good. For without our dogs. Whoa. Christ called her a dog, right? And the, the scripture says without the gate, outside the kingdom of heaven, outside the 12 gates that enter into the kingdom of heaven are who? Our dogs. Dogs not getting in the kingdom of heaven. Christ called her a dog, right? So all these heathens that you want to save so desperately bad aren't getting into the kingdom of heaven. There's no gate for them. I, I agree to There's no doggy door for them. I agree to They're going to be outside the kingdom of heaven. I agree and that's what it is. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.